Hello, today is Thursday, the 5th of March, 2009. This is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. We had another destructive day in this downtrend here. The uh, As we saw yesterday, the uh, NASDAQ 100 got up to that 28 level, which was uh, prior support and also a level of significance as it was the location of the declining 10-day moving average. And we saw a rejection from that level, obviously, today as the NASDAQ lost 82 cents or 3%. The, uh, the amazing thing is that that these levels still are, are looming lower here in the NASDAQ. A lot of the other markets, obviously, as we'll see in a minute, are, are at uh, deck, you know, deck more than a decade lows, but the NASDAQ, for some reason, has not been down as much. Uh, maybe it's going to. There's nothing to suggest a turn here. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I did... Uh, for the first time in quite a while, uh, take home a long position overnight. I'll talk about that in a minute. There's nothing on the charts to suggest that. It's just a basically the psychology got so negative, I think, that it, it, it made sense as far as a bet. And it's a small position. If it goes to zero, which it won't, but uh, uh, it's not going to hurt me in the long term. Anyways, the, the NASDAQ uh, is still finding a little bit of support at 26 and a half. Curiously, it holds up uh, for, some, for some strange reason uh, in that level. There's, uh, there's nothing to suggest that uh, you know, on the chart that that's an important level that should continue to hold here in the daily time frame or on the weekly time frame. And again, we go back to the monthly time frame. You can uh, see here. Uh, my thing just shook. Hopefully that didn't screw up the audio. Uh, anyways, we can see here that uh, where we are, if I just draw a horizontal line, that uh, this is where we are compared to uh, where we, we were back in 2003 was the last time this level uh, was was significant. And it still looks like 25 may be possible here. Uh, I had uh, bought a little bit of BGU, which is a triple long S&P 500 fund in my uh, IRA, and I plan on holding that. Hopefully, I think the best Best case scenario for tomorrow would be a gap lower in, in all of these markets um, and then a, a violent recovery, something similar to what we saw in November. It's not, it doesn't feel quite as bad as it did back then, but this has been a slow bleed and hopefully this uh, employment report tomorrow is maybe the catalyst for that. We'll see. Um, but it, it just seems as though everyone has been calling for a bottom. We're not getting it. And the, the it, it just makes me think who is left to sell in here, that at some point you got to take a small uh, contra position, even though, again, there's no technical evidence that we're turning here, close to turning the one-minute time frame. Uh, I had day traded this, uh, you know, part of this in here later in the day. But, again, with a declining daily VWAP, you cannot trust the daily trend. With a declining five-day moving average, you cannot trust the intermediate term. With a declining 50-day moving average, you can't trust it for you know the three to six month time frame. And with a declining 200-day moving average, you can't trust it as far as investments go. Uh, so there's nothing to trust on the long side in this market. The Russell 2000 continues to, to get destroyed here. And this has been really a, 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 just a, a, a real uh, smashing in here the last few weeks. It's down to the level that uh, seemed unrealistic just a couple days when I first started mentioning them, and that is $35 a share. I said that this looks like a potential likely target at some point. It took a 5.3% uh, drop today to get us there. It just seems as though uh, these these are these are basically your last chance levels. Below here, uh, it's anyone's guess what, what can happen, but i got to imagine at some point uh, these markets find some buyers. If not, then... You know, it's 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 too difficult to think about. Uh, if not, then then we're all you know then then the whole stock market ceases to operate. Uh, but you know that's that's too far out of reality to even consider. The uh, S uh, the Russell 2000 uh, again. As I said yesterday, there was nothing to get excited about with a declining five-day moving average. This morning we saw the gap lower, uh, one leg down, a, a little bit of midday recovery, and then further selling into the close with some increased volume. So that's good to see. You want to see increased volume? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though it's it's really big enough to indicate the panic. What would get us to there? Maybe if we get maybe if we even took out these lows right in here at 32 and a half, still another two and a half points away. But percentage-wise, it's really not much. If we were to gap down and, and uh, you know then maybe here, here's an ideal scenario for tomorrow. Let's say this is where all the markets close: S&P, Nasdaq, whatever you want. We gap lower. 
Okay, there's initial surge in buying. People think that's the bottom. But what often happens is we get another move lower that takes out all those lows. And then the market, here's what the volume would look like. Big, big volume in here. And then lighter volume on a lower low. If it makes a lower low and there's lighter volume, then when the market starts to, to rally in here, particularly if it can get above the daily VWAP at that point, a lot of times that marks a very good turning point. So that's something to be aware of. I'll try to update on Twitter tomorrow, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, trading is going to take first priority. Tomorrow could be a very exciting day for trading. Rest up well tonight because these markets are pretty oversold and getting close to that bounce somewhere in here. The, the, the financials are, uh, you know, got 10% closer to their ultimate bottom here today. Uh, they were down 9.4% with a 65 cent loss. We continue to see in here that every single bottom caller and person who says that there's value. And by the way, Joe from Upside Trader has been just dead on about these the whole way down. Follow him on Twitter. I'll put a link up to his blog as well. But Joe has been just dead on with these things, nailing it with the uh, FAZ, shorting the FAS, getting involved in SKF and all that. So uh, hats off to, to Joe. Uh, but anyways, we've got uh, you know severe downtrend, no sign of a bottom anywhere in here. We're not seeing the capitulative volume in there either. It just remains a giant mess. I, I'm staying away from the financials right now. To me, they're just a little bit too silly to the downside to even bother with it. So uh, I'm kind of on financial strike in here. Um, the spiders, the SPY was down $3.00 or 4.08%. As I said, uh, I, I own some BGU, although it's not meant to track the SPY, that is the BGU. It does track it very uh, closely. The BGU is a triple levered large cap uh, bull fund. You can see it closed at 1510. I'm in at 1505 as I Twittered about uh, earlier or later in the afternoon. Let's take a look back at the SPY though. S&P 500, we're down into that range that uh, seemed very unrealistic uh, when I first uh, posted that longer term chart last week. But these highs from 1996 and this range from 1996 are basically 68 and a half down towards about 64. I'm going to hang up on this person. Um, but we're, uh, we're, we're down in these levels, and if we're going to get a bounce, you would certainly, I think it's, it's down in here. Uh, I've got a small position. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. As I, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a complete gamble, and I usually don't like to mention uh, when I do an undisciplined trade like that because there's clearly nothing at all to suggest anything bullish on any of these charts, on any of these time frames. I still think a likely and a favorable scenario would be a gap down towards even 67, 66 and a half. That would be really nice to see tomorrow. I think we would see big volume and then we would also see a lot of short covering and tomorrow could be a massive day as far as uh, uh, volume goes. That's just one scenario though. Don't get locked into any one belief, especially when you look at every objective fact on every single one of these time frames that just continues to scream bear market. There's nothing fundamental here to suggest the turnaround. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's basically, as I had said, a bet, and and that's where that's where I am. Hopefully, uh, no one follows me and gets hurt. But uh, we've got a lot of levels of uh, potential resistance up above. Obviously, we gave that seventy dollar level up as far as uh, support today. We got down uh, to uh, what was today's intraday low? Today's intraday low was sixty eight seventeen on the one minute time frame. You can see there was a little bit of recovery here late in the day, but still clearly below that daily VWAP. This market. It's in a mess. Uh, it's it's really still best less for day trades, but I do have my uh, uh, small bullish bet. Uh, good luck. Be disciplined tomorrow.